It has been a hectic morning to say the least. I don't know if I pull my back or if I pull my shoulder or if I just have a strained neck, but I was like half awake when I raised both my arms in my sleep and I felt that twang. And I've been fighting it since 5 a.m. and it's 8 a.m. right now. I took some Excedrin, that didn't work. I ordered some menthol Icy Hot off of DoorDash and it gave me a chemical burn, just a small one. I took it off before it got too out of control. It's going away now. Um, I guess I have a intolerance to menthol. So now I'm gonna go to the store and waste more money and buy like the roll-on Icy Hot that has no menthol whatsoever. Because if I press on my neck, like in a certain area, I'm able to turn with no pain. So I think it's probably just a strained neck, but I also have a big old lump in my shoulder. I don't know what it is, but I want it gone because I have to work today. I mean, not until four, but I don't have to fight this all day long. So, uh, let's go. Great, I have to use the bathroom now. Oh well, I'll make it. I'm kind of concerned because the back pain is so advanced that it's pushing me forward like this and I can't really use my head so I don't know if I can drive and yes I'm shivering because it's freezing outside and every time I shiver it hurts my back <sighs> let's go before I pee my pants shall we alright so the good news is I made it the bad news is I forgot a mask but I have this broken one that my aunt had that's, you know, yeah. I'm gonna try and tie it. I can't believe I forgot a mask. I have so many in my car. I fixed it with a knot, yeah, because I'm so white trash. Ouch! Let's get this. I hope this works, because I'm like losing hope now. So is my bladder. Oh my gosh. I gotta go to the bathroom. Did I mention that? So. I did not know this, but the ones, you know, the Icy Hot with the, um, like the ball, you know, that you rub on, that has four times the menthol as what I put on this morning. I was very disappointed, but I'm so excited. I found lidocaine. I didn't know they sold lidocaine, uh, you know, on the shelves. I thought that was like a, medis a medicine that you get from the doctor. But there's lidocaine, 4% lidocaine, 1% menthol. Yeah, maximum strength lidocaine without a prescription. This better work. And I got a leave. A leave is the perfect name for getting rid of pain because the pain leaves. I gotta use the toilet. I don't know how many times I've said that, but I gotta go, ow, but I gotta go to the bathroom. I can't like be enthusiastic. Right, let's go. Yeah, I know, my hair is a mess. I haven't done anything except go to the store, but I wore a hat. And yes, I went to the bathroom. Here it is, Icy Hot Max Pain Relief Lidocaine Cream. Oh, wait a minute, no, first I wanna take my leave. Oops, upside down. And it's the liquid gel, so it, it actually work, it works faster when it's liquid. It does kind of concern me that this did not have like like, a protection on it. Oh well. I'm not going back to the store. Ow! I'm not going back to the store. <laughs> My hair. Turns out, from doing research, I have Tic Tacs. I have uh, a pinched nerve in my neck. I've been doing exercises, and it seems to be working. They, they say that you can't do it for too long because I could flare up the nerve but I am doing a little bit better this is my morning good morning it is uh, 9.30 now and all of driving me nuts <laughs> first my ABS light turned on the rental car was $900 for a week I run out of gas in the truck that I'm borrowing. My aunt came into my apartment, which sent my anxiety through the roof because my place is a wreck and she's always been on me about 
keeping things organized. And she had to use my bathroom. The check gauges came on in the truck that I'm borrowing and it stalled and it turned off and now this back pain. That's unusual for all of that to happen to me. But it took me until the uh, check gauges light came on when it finally dawned on me. This is not happening because I have bad luck. This is happening because God's telling me something. It took until I'm in excruciating pain. Then I fell to the floor and I repented and I gave Judas Priest back to God and I said, I will no longer listen to that band. I am back on track. And it's funny how it took me that long to finally get it through my skull, like, oh, wait a minute. So I repented to God and I gave the band back to him. It is 1.45 p.m. I got a pain patch on the back of my neck. Um. It's not doing what I want it to do. I, I feel a lot of pain, but if I just relax, it's doable. I can turn pretty far, actually, this way. Not so much this way. I can't look up to save my life. And about this far down. But what's weird is if I lean forward, I'm pulled forward as well. This is the only position that looks comfortable. And... It's kind of hard for me to breathe, and um, it's squashing my vocal cords, but it's comfortable like this. If I sit back, I look more uniform. I put everything down that I'm feeling symptom-wise into Google because that's why we have Google. And I have pins and needles in my fingers, in my hand. I've got pain in my upper arm down to my elbow, and it all came back the same on Google herniated disc. Now, for my mother's sake, because I know my dad had one, that was on his lower back, and it was pressing against his sciatica, and that is painful. This is like, if it is a herniated disc, it is pushing on the main nerve. Uh, but instead of taking Google as a fact, I called my doctor and I said, can you see me today? And I'm going in in 45 minutes to see the doctor. Oh, I didn't brush my hair. I'm at the doctor's door. And then it's like, who has that in their bedroom? Oh, my phone brush. Oh, no. I didn't put that in my bedroom. Oh, that's a weird thing. They moved me into a different room. My hair is disgusting. I forgot that I have messy hair. So they moved me into a different room. The other one, I don't know why they kept me in that one. But I had this really pretty picture. I'm going to put it uh, right here. And they have another one. Look. All right, it is 3.06 p.m. Turns out the reason why nothing worked, you won't believe this. I did not know this even existed. My rib one, which connects from my neck and goes around my shoulder and then connects to the sternum. It's the first rib. It's not the collarbone, but it's right underneath it. On this side, it was caught in the upward position. It's very subtle, but sometimes when we breathe, it gets stuck. Which I hope that never happens again, because that was so painful. And that's why nothing worked, because it was stuck. And although there's just a, just a bit of pain left, I mean, it is a little uncomfortable, but I'm, I'm looking to the ceiling. She says, take a thousand milligram Tylenol and I should be fixed. And as I promised the Lord, I'm going to give up Judas Priest. I'm going to write that in my journal when I get home. I have to go to work. What time is it? Yeah, I'm going to get some Tylenol and then I'm going to go to work. And then we will talk more about this. Um, when I get home, I am totally naming this video pain in the neck. Watch me. I don't know if you can see me, but you can hear me. I am so very happy that my car is back. 
and that my neck is better and that I'm starting work and no more Judas Priest like I made that promise to God and it was definitely out of desperation which is not a bad thing so God that's why God made it happen so I would call out to him like please take this away I'll I'll tell you know I'll give up Judas Priest and, I'll, and I'm gonna keep my word so let's get to my first client I'm already late but whatever 